Hi everyone, we are at the Public Protector's office today. We will be laying a formal charge against the city of Cape Town for the mismanagement of public funds, for the abuse of the people of the Cape Flats. The city of Cape Town was tasked by, by national government in 2009 to upgrade the flats in Mannenberg, Oceanview, um, Heidefeld, Lavendale. It was given a budget of 600 million to do this. People of Lavendale, Oceanview, Heidefeld, ask yourself if you've seen any of the benefit of the 600 mil. We've got documented proof of how the contractors were allowed to misuse your funds. We have the city's own lawyers taking these contractors to court to dismiss them, which the city never did. Those same contractors are still working for the city to this day. We are talking about 130 million rand stolen, just disappeared, paid for to upgrade your homes. The city of Cape Town has abused you, they have abused your money, they have abused your futures. When you look around and you see your children playing in black sand in Hanover Park, ask why. The city of Cape Town has done this. Helen Ziller, Patricia Delo, Dan Plato all knew about it. They've done nothing. They've done nothing to recover the monies. They have not dismissed these contractors again. This is the city of Cape Town and the Democratic Alliance using the brown people to the benefit of the rich white contractors who I have no doubt are paying big kickbacks to finance the Democratic Alliance. People, this is an abuse of you and your children's future. We'll be going inside now to lay that charge. Thank you. Essentially what happens is the city of Cape Town receives a budget from the provincial, gov provincial government, which receives the budget from the national government, 600 million and council residential units upgrades. Mm -hmm. The city of Cape Town um, appoints two agents, two implementing agents. So these guys are supposed to see to it that these flats are all fixed. Mm -hmm. Remember this money is exclusively for, for, for flats. Mm -hmm. There is a list of the wastages in there as to how many times these people were paid for work that they didn't do. Uh, I've seen an extra A, this one. Okay. It totals about 130 million. That is what I could verify. That is what I could verify. What's happened in the process also is that black owned companies huh, mm -hmm. have been hurt and almost bankrupted by these same companies, these white owned companies over here that have refused to pay these people for the work they've done. Mm -hmm. Now who gets, who gets hurt by it is the people living in the flats because the work isn't done, yet they've been paid. Mm -hmm. Now the city of Cape Town, the city of Cape Town dismissed this company, Aircom, mm -hmm. in 2015 for non-performance, okay. but it did not list them as a defaulting company. So therefore, they're as a defaulting contractor. Mm -hmm. So in essence, they shouldn't be on the city's database for anything, but in reality, they're still working for the city today. Mm -hmm. Now, you and I both know that if I default or run away with your money, I'm, I'll never work for you again, mm -hmm. but they're still working for the city. And this is why we're, this is why we're laying this charge, because they are trusting the same people mm -hmm. who have robbed the poor continuously with more money meant for the poor. I think it's about 40,000 units, roughly, give or take. 40,000 units in areas like Heidefeld, Mannenberg, Oceanview, uh, Lavendale. Is it it's the southern? The state flats, essentially. Okay. Okay. Essentially, these people did not complete or even start most of the work that they were paid to do. In fact, a lot of the work that they did do was contrary to the original contract, mm -hmm. meaning that... It was substandard. They did not put in right. what was, in fact, you went to the one of the issues of the school. We talk about this company so that's called Air Company. Air, Air Com. The toilets were flushed, the sewage came back instead of going down. The items that were put into the, the, the properties were not the, the items that were quoted on in the first place. Companies had to be uh, contracted to come back. They didn't, even pay, they didn't even pay some of the subcontractors either. So the original I mean, contractor put in something, it didn't work, then the city had to right. employ new contractors. And here's the city's own attorneys mm. dismissing these people. Mm. That is the creation of the actual contract and where they lay This is where they are here. saying that you're gone, you don't work for us anymore. Mm -hmm. But they still keep them on. You see, I've got a I've got a suspicion that this company, Acom, mm. is nothing more than a DA slash funder. Mm. That is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the reason the city of Cape Town and the DA by implication will not fire them irrespective of what they steal is because they're giving big fat kickbacks. Falcon goes into, into liquidation of March or April 2014, four months later. Aircon instructed Guru Construction in April to do the both repairs, to do the bath repairs that were never done by Falcon for the sum of 3.3 million rand. They will pay 3.3 million rand for the job they never did. Okay. If government gives you a hundred rand to upgrade something, it's a hundred rand, it's not a hundred and ten rand because that's what's been budgeted. I would like to know what makes this company so special that they can quote 600 more 
and come back within months and say, look, I need an extra 40 mil and get it. And come back six months later and say, I need an extra 20 million and get it. Then what's the point of having a tender process? You must also remember that in this company, this company was appointed, it cost 80 million rangers for consul. 